know if you do better than that shop. Hallelujah! Now, if you don't mind, give God a hand clap. Now, I have to admit, I am a worshiper, and I begin to worship God uh, probably even uh, uh, at a younger age of what I'm seeing even right now because I grew up, I had parents who really loved the Lord and they taught me how to worship. And I had a chance just to see you all for a few moments be able to worship and I was just, I'm so amazed because even in you guys worshiping, you don't know, you cannot tell even right now what your future is getting ready to look like but because you are a worshiper and you praise God, your future looks bright. All right. I would like to share with you all, young people, today in time that we are living in, so many people are trying to find their identity. Amen. Young girls, young girls are trying to find their identity through men or through their fathers. And their fathers is not in the home. But can I tell you all something? Young people, your identity comes from the Lord. Your identity comes from the Lord. And as I travel all over the world, get a chance to see so many young people, it just bothered me at times when I see young people trying to find their identity in so many things and you'll find out you're not being yourself. I've heard uh, Mr. Uh, is that Brinson who ended up rapping? Yeah. He said, you are the best at being who you are. And when you, when you really think about it, when God created you, God did not make not one mistake. All right, all right. So young people, I share with you on an everyday basis, when you wake up in the morning, I know all of you all like to go into the mirror because everybody said they look good. And you do. That's go, that goes for the fellas as well as the young ladies. But I want you to look at it differently. When you look in the mirror, I want you to talk to yourself. How many of you all talk to yourself? Be honest. Guess what? I do too. I do too. But when you look in the mirror today, I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself, ladies, how beautiful that you are. You're going to be somebody. You don't have to be like anybody else, but the best that you can be. Fellas, you are somebody. You are not a statistics of what people are saying on Facebook, on the news. You, you guys are leaders. And I'm, I'm just so happy to see so many, so many boys, so many boys that's, that's here. Yes, yes, yes. Because I, I also want to share with, with the boys just real quick, not only the word identity, but I want to share with the word leadership. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Say that. Uh -huh. yes. Fellas, you are a leader. Yes, that's right. So guess what? You don't have to follow people who's not doing things what we say is is not right. They can follow you. Why? Because you have Christ in your life. How many love Jesus? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. 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 So guess what? Because you love Jesus and that light shine bright within you, you can be a difference in your community. You are the difference. If you truly love the Lord on an everyday basis, young people, it is so important, and I'm almost through, it's so important to have a relationship with the Lord. Yeah. And the reason I say that, at a young age, uh, where I'm looking at you now, I had a relationship with the Lord. And because I had a relationship with the Lord, it took me places where I never thought I could even go. And as you saw on the screen, 
Tyler Perry and being part of a show called Medea on the Run, I would have never have thought in a million years that can happen for me. But the reason that happened is because at the age that I'm looking at right now, I had a relationship with the Lord. And you all can clap for that. My last thing, I want to share my testimony with you all, and hopefully it will bless you, because I know many of you all have dreams. There's things that you want to do. There's, some, there's things that you want to become. And it's just amazing nowadays, when I was, when I was growing up, you all age, we didn't have the internet um, as advanced as it is now. So the possibility of what you guys want to do in life it's a reality, and it can almost happen overnight. Somebody say overnight. overnight. So the luxury you all young people have is it doesn't take all day to do, to do what you guys want to do because of the internet that we have. So I'll share with you, I was discovered off of YouTube. Anybody know YouTube? Some of y'all is on YouTube. I was discovered off of YouTube. I was with my guys. Uh, I had a singing group, and we used to just clown around, just like how some of you all do. Clown, uh, recorded on my laptop, and I'm going to share this for a reason because some of you all have cell phones and y'all recording a lot of things. And I went and recorded on my laptop, and that same day, my wife, she had saw the recording on the laptop, and. She threw it on YouTube. And just out, of, just out of the blue, within two days, I received a phone call and an email from a producer by the name of Mark Swinton. He is a producer, he produces all of Tyler Perry uh, plays, all the TV shows, and I know some of you all know the TV shows, one of the greatest TV shows that's out, the have and the what? I thought you all knew it. Make, you live for it, okay. Make a long story short, within two days, I received the call and the producer asked me, they said, well, we saw the, the video that you posted and what was so amazing, you all, my friends and I, as we begin to, uh, begin to sing, guess what type of song we were singing? Church songs. Boom, you are so smart. Who said that? <laughs> You're absolutely correct. And it was a church song that, that the producer heard. And he said, I like that. And I like how you're doing that. What I'm trying to say is, while you guys are worshiping, and y'all come, come here together, there's something about worship songs. When you sing song that is unto God, it's a lot more different. I don't want to go too far into it, but it's a lot more different than the hip hop. And then the R&B, and I'm not, I'm not against it, but it's just something about worship. And you all today had a chance to worship, and that's a great thing. Make a long story short, young people. The video got sent, they called me. Within two days, I'm at Tyler Perry's studio. I go and audition. There's a lot of people just like I'm looking at you all. I go in, and guess what I sing again? I sung another church song because I told you all I'm a worshiper and I can tell many of you are a worshiper I sung that same worship song and God opened up the windows of heaven for me and if God can do that for me he can do that for you all you have to do is just believe and have your own identity your own identity and the rest is history and now you see the DVD with Medea's neighbors on, uh, from hell and now on tour with Medea on the run but what I want to share with you it can happen for you guys young people it can happen for you how many believe that Wow we have so many believers so many believers so what I leave with you is just real simple. 
Whatever you do, be the best you. Just like you heard earlier Mr. Brinson said today. And he couldn't say it no better. Be the best you that you can be. And then before I go, I would like to sing just this little verse of this worship song. And we can get ready to let you go. Is that okay? Yeah. How many of you all dream, is dreaming big? You dreaming big. How many believe your dreams? How many know you got to work hard towards your dream? And then the next thing, you got to tell somebody about your dream. I'm going to tell you who you can tell about your dream. Oh, y'all already there. Tell the Lord about your dream and watch your dream come into reality. There's a song that I normally sing uh, in a worship. It's real simple. It says, With my hands lifted up And my mouth filled with praise With the heart of thanksgiving Oh Lord, I will bless thee, oh Lord I'll say it again with my hands lifted up. Can I see your hands up? Yeah. Yeah. And my mouth filled with praise. Yeah. With the heart of thanksgiving. Lord, I will. I will bless thee, oh Lord. And if you know this next verse, I want you all to help me say it. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. You all sound wonderful, young people. With the heart of thanksgiving, said, O oh Lord, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on, all of the bill, can we give God a hand clap? 